Santa and this is Teacher's Corner. I'm here with Mr. Miller. Hi, Mr. Miller. Hi. How are you? I feel great. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Thank you for asking. Are you ready to start? I am ready. Okay. So where did you go to school when you were a little kid like me? Well, I went to several elementary schools as a young kid. And by the time I got to the third grade, we'd settled in to Visalia. And I uh, went to Conyers Street Elementary School on Conyers Street. And I was there through the sixth grade. Very interesting. <laughs> Why did, where did you go to college and can you describe a little bit about your experience? Mm -hmm. I have my bachelor's degree from Fresno State. I uh, uh, studied history and mathematics at the college and learned a great deal. And then my graduate work was at the University of Laverne down in Los Angeles. And so I have both undergraduate and graduate degrees. Why did you decide to become a teacher? That's a good question. Um, I always loved school. I always loved coming to school. It was always something I looked forward to every day. I felt good in school. I felt safe in school. I loved reading. I loved learning new things. I was became very curious about everything. And so I was a very big reader when I was in elementary. So I had teachers along the way that really encouraged me. And you know, the most important thing was that my uh, teaching heroes, uh, they liked me. They liked me and they encouraged me. So Mrs. Williamson was my second grade teacher and she was wonderful to me. She made me feel special. Uh, Mr. Height was one of my very favorites. He was my sixth grade teacher. And a lot that I do in my class uh, is from Mr. Height and, and how he conducted class. Uh, Mr. Schreier was uh, an eighth grade history teacher of mine that I looked up to. And then Mr. Rudolph when I was in high school uh, did more for me than I can imagine now. He really looked after me and, and got me through some tough times in high school. So Mr. Rudolph was very, very special. I guess still in touch right now. Mr. Rudolph unfortunately passed away uh, some years ago. And uh, I did attend his service and uh, I got to speak at his funeral. And uh, I'm glad I did. And his family uh, was very touched that I went up and spoke from the heart about what Mr. Rudolph meant to me. So. Um, I did get to see him about six months before he died. So uh, he was a cross country coach and my daughter was running cross country and so we met at one of the meets at Woodward Park and it was a very, very good time to see him again. How many years have you been teaching at Cameron Florida and have you taught anywhere else? Yes, uh, this is my third year at this wonderful place, Kerman Floyd. This is a great school, great kids. Uh, great staff that's here, really good principal and vice principal. The support staff from the office is wonderful. It's uh, a school that's really going in a good direction. Uh, I've taught uh, both uh, teaching and in leadership for, I'll just say, many years. So this is my 32nd year in education. What is the most rewarding part of being a teacher? The most rewarding part of being a teacher is seeing a student get it. When, they, when you're teaching a subject and the student, you can see in their face, oh, okay, I get that. And they're able to learn something that you're teaching. That's incredibly rewarding. Uh, I like to coach, as um, many of you out there know. And we had a cross country meet on uh, Friday and seeing our students be so successful and do so well was incredibly rewarding. That was one of the best days I've ever had was last Friday watching our students perform at such a high level. I'm very, very proud. Do that one again. We're gonna go off of that a little bit. What is the most difficult part of being a teacher? You know, when students uh, are experiencing real challenges, that's really a tough time. Uh, challenges at school or challenges at home or challenges in their life. Uh, this is a very difficult for them and I, I hate seeing kids struggle or in pain or have uh, a lot on their mind that are keeping them from becoming the great student that they want to be. So it's, it's tough seeing students that are really having a tough time. And so I, I've got a big heart for kids who are struggling. What do you like to do for fun on your free time of work? For fun? Well, uh, I'm into music quite a bit. So I write songs, I perform many different instruments, I uh, play in community groups, and I also have a band that I play in. And uh, I love to uh, sing and perform, so that's kind of like my main hobby. Uh, I've got a wonderful family, wife and two daughters. I have a daughter getting married this Saturday, so I'm going to be uh, 
busy being the father of the bride for the first time. This is a very big day for us in the family. And with my daughters we uh, and, and my wife, we did a lot of traveling. When the kids were young, we went all over the world and we got to see many, many things. And so I like to travel. I love reading. I love learning new things and uh, love being with people. Who was the best teacher you had in grade school and why? Well, I, I named off the four teachers that were really special to me. Uh, Mrs. Calloway is another one, my fifth grade teacher, who was very strict, but she's the one that introduced auto harp to our class. And so I'm very grateful to her for, for playing music in class, and I do the same because of her. Uh, Mr. Hyde in sixth grade uh, got me into current events and government and uh, the world around me and got me to open my eyes to what was happening outside of my little school. And uh, to this day, I'm very interested in government and, and current events and what's happening in our, in our country at any one time. Do you have a favorite book? Yeah, um, I, I read a lot and I've got a lot of good books, but the one that comes to mind was one that I read in the fifth grade in Mrs. Calloway's library. It was an old beat up book, The Count of Monte Cristo and it was by Alexander Dumas. He was a French author, and it's about a prison escape, and it's about a man who goes through some incredibly tough times and uh, manages to come out somewhat ahead towards the end, and it's a story of struggle and, and difficulty, but I love the book. I just absolutely loved it, and, and to this day, I still think that's one of my very favorites. Who is the most influential person? Um, Mr. Height, my sixth grade teacher, was very influential to me. Uh, my grandmother was very influential to me. Um, uh, Robert Kennedy, the uh, for politician uh, that ran for president in 1968, is someone I've always looked up to. Uh, so Cesar Chavez is somebody that I've admired and, and looked towards uh, for guidance uh, during tough times. Uh, he overcame a great deal of uh, adversity to help lead his whole community to a better place. What is something interesting about you that nobody else knows? Something interesting? Um, well, nobody knows this. Should I, should I spill the beans on this one? Mm -hmm. All right, so when I was in college, I rode a mechanical bull. Got on a mechanical bull and it bounced around and the first round I actually managed to stay on. So the next time they turned it up faster and the second time I flew in the air right off the mechanical bull and landed into their nice padding below. So I rode a mechanical bull when I was in college. Very few people know that now. Everyone knows that. Wow. No, I won't do it again. Okay. Well, it was a lovely time having oh, you today. Tyler, as always, it's good having with you. I am Tyler Hinton, and this is Teacher's Corner. Bye, friends.